Hi everyone, in this problem we have a sequence, and this is called an arithmetic sequence. And the reason it's called an arithmetic sequence is because we basically just keep adding a number to get to the next term. So if you kind of look at this, it looks like we're subtracting, but we're really adding negative 3 each time. 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1, plus negative 3 is negative 4, plus negative 3 is negative 7, etc. So this is called an arithmetic sequence. In this question, we just have to simply find the general term or the nth term for this sequence. So there is a formula that tells us what it is. The nth term or the general term, the notation we use is a sub n, and this is equal to the first term, which we call a sub 1, plus parentheses n minus 1 times d. And d here is called the common difference. It's the number that we keep adding over and over again. So in this case here, we determined that it was negative 3. And the first term in this case is just simply going to be 2. It's the first one you see always. So now all we have to do is plug everything into our formula. So a sub n is equal to the first term, which is 2, plus, then we have parentheses n minus 1 times d, which was negative 3. So a sub n is equal to 2. And now we'll just take the negative 3 and distribute it. So minus 3n, and then this times this would be plus 3. So a sub n would be equal to 2 plus 3, which is 5 and then we have our minus 3n. And that would be the nth term or general term of our arithmetic sequence. I hope this video has been helpful.